world-famous chemist, Dr. Jules Montagnier, creator of fine cosmetics, of new proof body powder, and originator of Stop It, the nation's first and most popular spray deodorant in the amazing plastic bottle that you just squeeze and poof, there goes perspiration, presents television's gayest game, What's My Line? <laughs> And now, let's meet our What's My Line panel of well-known personalities whose lines you already know. First, the popular columnist, whose voice of Broadway appears in the New York Journal American and papers coast to coast, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. And on my left, the noted columnist and author whose latest book is the very funny Laughter Incorporated, Mr. Bennett Cerf. On my left is a glamorous lady whose charming fizz, like that of Dorothy Kilgallen, beams out at you from a double-page spread in the current issue of Life, Miss <laughs> Arlene Francis. Didn't mention the girl in the middle, eh? <laughs> Say Emerson, I'll mention it. <laughs> and on my left, our favorite comedy panelist, Hal Block. On my left, my favorite news correspondent, a man who should have known that Truman wasn't going to run <laughs> when Margaret hooked up with Durante, <laughs> with <the> John Daly. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to What's My Line, presented by Stop It. Once again tonight, we're going to have some folks from here and there before our cameras, all of them with interesting and varied occupations, and all of them hoping to give our friends on the panel a run for the money. They hope to carry home some prizes. We'll also have a famous guest challenger before the panel a little bit later in the show, but right now, to start things rolling, it's time for our experts to meet our first challenger whose job they'll have to spot. Will you sign in, please, ma'am? A real lovely orchid you have there, you know. That was given me by a very special friend. Well, I'm very happy to hear it. I hope this is a special occasion and you have lots of fun. Would you tell us, first of all, where you live? New York City. In New York. Well, then you haven't had uh, too far to travel so far tonight. And our friends on the panel would like to know you a little better. So would you walk down in front of the panel for me, please? How are you? <laughs> well, what is the name? How did you wrote it? Brody, hello. Mrs. Brody, I want to look at that pink ribbon. <laughs> I've worn a pink ribbon for the last 60 years. <laughs> All right, Miss. Come on, I have. I don't think I can, too. You look better. Mrs. Brody, voice. would you come over here now? Would you come over here and sit down next to me, please? Would Will you, you come over here now and sit down next to me? <laughs> Just come on over here and sit down, will you? Be comfortable. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do, Mrs. Brody. On the basis of your handwriting, what you said, come up real close because you're going to have to use that microphone. We're going to give the members of the panel one free guess as to what your line may be, and we'll begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. Well, oh, I think obviously she paints primitives. Mr. Sir. I think she's a fan dancer. <laughs> Miss Francis. Judging by her handwriting, I think she must specialize in writing the Lord's Prayer on the head of a pin. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Clark. Thank you. I think she's an oil well driller. <laughs> no, I'm afraid you're all wrong. We'll let our viewers at home have a further look at Mrs. Brody. At the same time, we'll tell them what her line is. But, panel, you've got to work. Here's how the game works, Mrs. Brody. The panel will ask you questions to be answered yes or no. And each time that you give them a no answer, it's going to cost them $5, and we'll keep the record up here. Ten no's and fifty dollars, they've lost the game. All right, we'll give them one more bit of help. Mrs. Brody is salaried, and with that, we'll begin the general questioning with Mr. Sir. Mrs. Brody, uh, do you perform services of any kind? I do. Is there a product involved in what you do? Well, yes, to quite some extent. <laughs> do, do you yourself have something to do? with the uh, making or manufacture of this product? I certainly do. Is it a product that uh, can be used equally by men and women? <laughs> Why? Well, I might say men and women, but I'm 
Male and female. Don't male you and give female. him so much help. Yes, that. Oh, male and female. I see. Well, uh, then this isn't a product that I would wear myself. Is that correct? <laughs> I think it looks rather ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is a product that you would not use yourself, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Brody, if, uh, I think you gave me rather a hint. Would you say that this was a product that was used by, uh, used on animals of some sort? Well, to some extent, yes. Would they be uh, domesticated animals? Well, Would you give us your definition of domesticated here so nobody gets hurt? Well, <laughs> certainly not a wife. I, <laughs> uh, domesticated in the sense that they're tame and can be found somewhere around the house or the farm. Found somewhere around the house, and that would be the one down and nine to go. The one place that I'm afraid. Don't tell them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Francis. Is this animal something then that one might find outdoors? I think. Yes. Probably. Is it a four-legged animal? Oh, yes. Oh, of course. Uh, is it uh, an animal larger than uh, a dog? Well, a, a little bit larger. <laughs> the way you said a little bit larger, I have a feeling it's a rhinoceros. <laughs> no, but it is a large animal on the size of, let us say, a horse or a rhinoceros or an elephant in that category. Well, it might be classed as such. Well, I have, I can't ignore the ooh, so I must ask you if it has anything to do with the elephant kingdom. I'm afraid it does. It does. It's quite now, do you, by any chance, have anything to do with uh, uh, some part of the elephant? Some special part? Oh, no. Oh, you ha we work on the whole elephant, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You're a little woman to do all that. I never believe in doing things in hand. <laughs> Two down and eight to go, Mr. Block. I kind of hate to confine us to the elephant because I don't want to be partisan in politics. <laughs> but, uh, you... Oh, you shouldn't you be doors open like that, Hal. You really shouldn't. Do you, by any chance, have anything to do with training an elephant? Well, not today, not, in former years. Not today. That is not the, the line now. So that's three down and seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, does what you do to the elephant improve its appearance? Greatly. Uh, is it something that uh, has to do with the elephant when the elephant is uh, on parade or being seen by the public? It certainly does. To is great it, extent. Is it something um, that the elephant would wear? Well, yes. He uh, wouldn't look well lying down in it, though. <laughs> I have seen elephants in very pretty little uh, tutus and other sort of costumes. Do you, by any chance, have something to do with the making of costumes for elephants? Mm -hmm. When they're all Thank dressed up? Uh, do you sew on the costumes? Oh, yes. You are then a couturier for elephants? <laughs> a couturier for elephants? <laughs> and I think we're going to have to agree it's right. Uh, Mrs. Brody embroiders elephant blankets. Oh. <laughs> 86 years. 86 years 86 old. 86 years old. And she spends all of her time doing this elaborate embroidery on the elephant blankets that the elephants wear when they're on their best bib and tucker, I guess you'd say, oh, wouldn't you? Right. I'm sure the elephants will always remember her. I'm sure they will, too. Yeah. Well, you did got a... Pretty good prize, but I think above everything else, you had a good time being with us, and Have certainly you. it was wonderful having you as our she guest on What's My Life. <laughs> Bye-bye. And now let's see what we can do with another challenger. Will you sign in, please, ma'am? Dolores Belcher. Are you? Miss, Miss Belcher, will you tell us first of all, Miss Belcher, where you live? Port Jervis, New York. Port Jervis, that's Did our... Did you say this was Miss Belcher? Miss Belcher, that's right. Uh, our friends in the panel are curious already. They want to know you better. Will you walk down in front of the panel, please? Hello. Port Jervis, Miss Belcher. Port Jervis, Miss Belcher. 
a short finger there. All right, Miss Belcher, will you come over here now and sit down next to me, please? And on the basis of your handwriting, what you said, the close look that our friends have had at you, we give them one free guess as to what your line may be, and we'll begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. I think she plays a harp. Plays a harp, Mr. Sir. I think she rides on the elephants after Mrs. Brody puts the blankets on. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Francis. I think she designs hats. Mr. Block. I think she probably manufactures calendars, and I'd like to be one of her dates. <laughs> oh, no. I'm afraid you're all wrong. We'll let our viewers at home have a further look at Miss Belcher, and at the same time, we'll tell them what her line is. Panel, this ought to give you some fun. You all know how to play the game, and you know how. You heard me explain it. So uh, let's give them one more bit of help, shall we? We'll tell them that uh, you are salaried, and with that, we'll begin the general questioning with Mr. Block. Uh, do you deal with a product? Yes. Is it a product that's used in everyday life? Yes. Would I ever come in contact with the product? <laughs> Possibly, yeah? Sure, good miss. <laughs> I hope this has to do with human beings. <laughs> uh, does it uh, apply to one sex more than the other? Yeah, I would say it applies yes. more to one sex than another, wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. Is it something that's worn? Yes. Is it used by the feminine sex? Yes. Is it something that maybe you could hold in your hand? Yes. Do they wear it? Yes. Is it something that... You wouldn't want to just wear that, nothing else when you want to... <laughs> The answer to that one is definitely, says Ms. Doctor. Go ahead, Mr. Block. But is it something you might put on in... in... Why don't I shut up? <laughs> is it something you might put on in the, in the bedroom? Yes. <laughs> is it something that's... Uh, worn, let's say, from the shoes up? From the shoes up? I mean, something above the shoes? Is it something worn above the shoes? Yeah. yeah. Something worn above the waist? <laughs> Is it something that's worn above the neck? <laughs> Is it something that's worn above the mouth? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. It's below the mouth, but above the neck. <laughs> I'm just reviewing. Well, above the neck, but not above the mouth. It's, it's not above the mouth. That's right. It's not but above it is above the neck. Yeah. Don't keep this up. You'll get me confused. Uh, <laughs> not any more confused than I am. Uh, is it something that uh, has to do with improving the appearance? Yes. Uh, would you consider it a beauty aid? Uh, is it something you'd wear more often at night than in the daytime? No. no. Well, now, wait a minute. We've got a little problem. Well, huh? Will you let us have a small concert? Yes, I could uh, clarify it if you wanted me to. Well, we could dance in the meantime. <laughs> well, I think so, too. Yes, two down and eight to go. On the basis of a question asked, is it worn more at night than in the daytime? The answer is no, and we will now have Mr. Sir. Miss Boucher, you said this is not worn above the mouth. Is it worn on or in the mouth? Yes. Is it worn inside the mouth? Mm. Well, I mean on the teeth. Something to do with, is it anything at all to do on with the teeth? On the teeth? No, that makes it three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Just let him go Is this something that you might put in your mouth and swallow? <laughs> But you wouldn't. <laughs> Four down at six to go, Mr. Block. Well, we got it around the mouth at least, so we're lucky. Like, <laughs> can we have a small count? Twenty seconds for a count. Ask so if it's used on the mouth. No, why would you? you... She said, oh, you isn't used. He uses it. How does he happen to use it? He, he, he would come, like in come in contact with it. With it. Come in oh, hey! Contact with it. <laughs> I think I see a light. Is it worn on the mouth? Yes. Are you wearing it now? Yes. Any questions? <laughs> Is it lipstick? Yes. 
Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What does Miss Belcher have to do with this thing? Oh, what does she have to do with it? Yes. <laughs> she looks adorable in it. <laughs> Agreed. But we're here to get her line, remember? Um, has she anything to do with the merchandising or, or the manufacturer or something of it? I guess we'll have to give it to him. Yeah. That's right. Make such things. <laughs> well, you got very well with the prizes. I also hope that you enjoyed yourself. It was nice to have you in touch my life. Good night. Good to see you. And now... Yes, dear? I was just going to say, I swallowed quite a lot of mine. Do you? <laughs> Get it on your teeth, well, too. I'm not an expert You go out on with this. the wrong fellas. <laughs> All right, now, before we introduce our mystery guest, here's some exciting... Now we come to the regular special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity. And since our friends in the panel would recognize our famous <coughs> guest on sight, we have provided them with blindfolds. Are they all in place, panel? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? Eisenhower would be here so fast? <laughs> As you know, in the case of our mystery celebrity, we dispense with all the usual preliminaries and get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Um, I gather that you're a well-known face to the public. Is that true? Could be. <laughs> uh, are you in any form of show business? That's it, sir. <laughs> Would you repeat the question, Miss Gilgallan? Are you in any form of show business? This could be debated. Uh, well, are, are you a performer of any kind? This could be. <laughs> that could be, yeah. Uh, are you an actor? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's one out of nine to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, are you a singer? Yeah. <laughs> He's saying yes and shaking his head, so I think we'll call that yes, Mr. Sir. Do you burst into tears every time you burst into tears? <laughs> Only when hearing my own record. <laughs> That's two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Um, you're not an actor. Are you a public figure of some kind? Uh, uh, would, one could... <laughs> would you tell us a little more what you mean I by... I mean, are you in public life, but sing about it once in a while? Uh, like uh, in politics or something. <laughs> <laughs> Read out it. Seven to go, Mr. Block. Are you employed? <laughs> <laughs> paying for this, I guess. <laughs> I think we give you a guess on that, Mr. Buck. Well, you've been getting a lot of screams. Are you funny? <laughs> I won't let him say no on that. I would say that there are a great many people who think he's very, very funny. Or are you are you married? <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> See the day. Go on, Mr. <laughs> you have five daughters? Five daughters? <laughs> <laughs> Four dollars, six to go. Let's kill Gallon. What's the man's death? <laughs> uh, when, when you do whatever it is you do, <laughs> do you... We've established, haven't we, that you appear before the public. People are watching you. Yes, that's been established. Uh, may I assume that the voice you're using now is not the voice uh, which is most familiar to the general public? It's not so. He uses it often. <laughs> he uses it often, but I, we will yield the point, Miss Dorothy, that this is not the voice by which he uses that voice. generally known to the public. Uh, do you ever talk as well as sing in doing what you do. I go on at a great rate all day long. <laughs> oh. Are you, are you associated with uh, 
some other famous person in one of the things you do? Uh, like a famous comedian? Is he associated with a famous comedian in some of the things he does? Yes. You mean in his performing before the public being seen by saying that's my... <laughs> When, uh, when you do your uh, specialty, is there, a, is there usually a microphone somewhere near you? A microphone? Yeah. 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 I can't hear your answer. Yes. Yes. Would your singing come anywhere under the heading of crooning? <laughs> this one you're going to See if I wouldn't call it that aside. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think you can. That's six down in Portugal, Miss France. Are you a television personality? Yes, could be. <laughs> Are you also a radio personality? Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the easy one. Uh, you're, you've disguised your voice so many times, but I have a feeling you're a youngish man. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> you are a young man? Oh, yes. <laughs> a little while earlier, you said that you performed all, uh, I I I you were, uh, whatever you did, you did all the time. So that I imagine you're on more than one feature show. Is that correct? I mean, you do more than one big show a week? <laughs> we'll be with you in just a minute. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you do more than one, don't you? Hey, yeah. Daly, can I disqualify myself? I got to look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can. I got to look. Well, we're going to give it to you right away quick. As a matter of fact, I just wanted to warn you, we have uh, only about three minutes to go, so you all better get going. The answer to your question, uh, uh, does our guest appear on more than one feature show, is yes. He does appear more on more than one feature show. Yes. yes. Uh, would uh, this personality be on every day? You mean seven days a week? Well, you know, I mean every radio day or five days a week. Five days a week we would give you. Is it... Oh, uh, well, I was going to ask you if it was Dave Garraway. <laughs> <laughs> you want that no written out, or would you have it with semaphore? <laughs> oh. Seven down and three to go, and we come to Miss Kilgallen. Um. You know, I'm... I'm very glad I can watch. <laughs> are you, are you um, well known for your uh, handling of commercial products? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, are you also interested in ladies' necklines? <laughs> A proper answer to that might be, who isn't? But the answer is yes. <laughs> uh, I meant notably. Um, do you uh, play, if you'll excuse the expression, a musical instrument? <laughs> this woman is knowing who I am without saying so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> who is it? Are you Arthur Godfrey? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing that I'm going to say for Arthur, if I may. Um, I know that he would want to have said it himself if he'd stayed with us. He's very active in the current drive for the Red Cross. In fact, he is the chairman of the entertainment division for this area of the country. 
I think all of you know that the Red Cross is something that we fall back upon, every one of us, in the moments of greatest stress and travail. They need your support very badly now. They're raising their <laughs> annual uh, sums of money to carry on their work, such as the work that was recently done in the tornado area. If you haven't done your bit for the Red Cross so far this year, please get up and do something about it tomorrow. At the same time, our panel of experts will be asked, what's my line by this man? Would you know what his occupation is? Could you spot his line? For the answers to these questions and a good many others, be sure to be with us again next Sunday night at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, when once again, Stop It invites you to play What's My Line? For other localities, check your newspaper for the date and time of our weekly series. And until then, this is John Daly saying good night, Dorothy. <laughs> Good night, Bennett. Good night, Eileen. Good night, Al. What was the name of that last fellow again? Uh, Smith. <laughs> and thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being with us on What's My Line? Hey, won't you play some beat-the-clock games with Bud Collier next? Then, strike a match with Gene Rayburn and the gang on Match Game, only on Game Show Network. With the CBS Television Network.